Hi, this is Carl Anderson with Marine Max Charleston just off Daniel Island, and today I'm going to take you through a 2020 Sea Ray 250 SDX outboard. Starting off with the profile of the boat, this is Sea Ray's new Quantum Blue hull color with a white undertone. You can see this model does have the optional docking lights. This boat does not include a trailer but one is certainly available if needed. Really good looking profile of the boat. We'll make our way inside shortly, but you can see we've got a really nice large swim platform. A lot of real estate here back of the swim platform so you can easily maneuver around this back end of the boat. We do have the sea deck flooring throughout the boat as well. And this boat is powered by a 300 Verado from Mercury in the optional white cowling. This is a V8 4.6 liter naturally aspirated motor. It pushes this boat really well. Now let's make our way inside. So I'm sitting here at the transom facing aft on Sea Ray's 250 SDX. And I just want to show you how expansive this transom setup is here. So this stern seat is really versatile. It's on track, so it slides both fore and aft. I have it pushed further forward than what I showed initially. And when it's pushed further forward, it really opens up the amount of transom space you have back here. You've got a ton of space to maneuver and walk around. That also opens up a cooler box that's built into the floor and drained. There's speakers beneath this seat. I've got charging ports for my devices right here. Three cup holders. There's a nice lounge area here that flips up. It gives you access to storage as well. That's really deep storage, but you can also access further forward inside the cockpit. I'll show you a little bit about this 300 Verado motor. It is the new generation Mercury with the top cowling service door, so you can check and change your oil with the motor in the water and engage this lever and totally remove the motor's cowling with one arm. This backrest is, adjust is adjustable as well. Comes back just like that. And again, this whole seat unlocks and slides all the way back like that. So wherever you want the space, be it at the transom or in the cockpit, you've got the best of both worlds. Backrest is really easy to maneuver. It's a big, heavy backrest, so it's not going to bounce around, but it's also maneuverable enough to where it's easy to change the positions. You've got stainless steel grab handles below, cup holders below. That's where the transom seat locks into place. There's storage down here in the floor this is a great space to put a stern anchor or any other additional items that you might need we upgraded the cockpit table to be a teak table option it dresses up the boat nicely again that same storage compartment that we saw earlier can also be accessed right here that's also where the table stowed. Similar adjustable backrests. For the port side seat and here at the helm. So you can lounge facing aft. We do have a battery charger on board. More cup holders down below. As you enter the boat, We've got a block off door there to help keep smaller children and smaller dogs safely inside. Battery switch is located here. Stereo remote, freshwater sprayer. We do have the optional sports tower on this boat with a bimini that does have a tow bit above. So this is great for pulling skiers. Ski locker is here in the floor. 
bring this backrest back. Have a look at the helm seat. This is an adjustable helm. It's an adjustable thigh rise bolster. It's double wide, so you've got plenty of space. Got a nice touch screen from Simrad, nine inch unit. Flush mounted Fusion stereo. Speakers down below. Courtesy lights, this boat illuminates really nicely at night. Of course, digital throttle and shift with that 300 Verado. Nice vinyl wrapped brow, keep some of the glare off. So one thing that's unique about the 250 SDX is it does have a cabin. Before we make our way down there, we've got a nice glove box here that's lockable. So in the head, this is a pump out head, but you can see we've got all of this cushion area down here and I can even drop this cushion down and now I've got a great place to get out of the sun or get out of the rain there's quite a bit of room in here to lie down great area for kids especially but if nothing else a ton of room for storage before we make our way up in the bow I'll open up the ski locker there that's also where a table can be stowed and also wanted to show that you do have designated space for an igloo cooler beneath this starboard side seat. So making our way forward, our access to the bow is through the port side. There is a door there that we can block off along with closing the windshield so we can totally get out of the elements. So here we've got a really nice bow setup area with an optional table. Really comfortable seats. Got more cup holders, more lighting, speakers. We do have a charging port for our devices there. Anchor locker and boarding ladder. Another freshwater sprayer. Just a really awesome boat for Sea Ray, one that's really versatile, can accommodate a ton of people very comfortably great luxury feel but really sporty as well and that's a look at our 2020 sea ray 250 sdx outboard again i'm carl anderson with marine max charleston we're just off daniel island at 142 sportsman's island drive feel free to give us a call at 843-747-1889 and always check us out online at marinemax.com thanks for watching and we'll see you soon